How's it going, dudes? It's your boy Drastic Quill, back with a new recording session of Chrono Trigger. Yep. Recording session number three. So, last we left off, we just uh, defeated um, Nisbel. Nisbel. Yep. Yeah, and Nisbell. got the time, the gate key back, and now we're on our way. Back to 1000 AD to get, uh, well, she's saying bye, I guess, but, uh, to get, uh, the Mazamune, uh, fixed. Oh, we're finally going to get that sword fixed. Yep. Great. But, uh. Thankfully, our, uh, our trek to get that sword wasn't all for loss. Nope. Was a but waste. before that, I am going to switch. Actually, yeah, I'll switch on over to this for a bit. Oh, you're going to take Robo with you, eh? Yeah, for a little bit. I'm going to... Yep. Anyway, so... This is just normal fights. And... Well, I probably should take off the Berserker... Uh, Berserker accessory from the Robo. What is... Oh, wait. This is actually the first time we've seen like one of their character models change. So Berserker is just uh, makes them enraged, so it auto attacks. Yeah, but it makes them red. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it symbolizes that they're mad. But I, I that's the one thing I don't like about this game is that your uh, your sprite doesn't change even if you put on different things. No, I guess it's only just the. Um, I guess it's just. The Berserker uh, accessory that does that. Well, yeah, I guess so, but I, I wish that I did, you know, did that with more things, right? Like, what, if, for example, like haste or stuff like that? Well, like, I'm, I'm, I'm talking like I wish I saw a Chrono wearing gold armor right now. Oh! Because he's wearing gold armor. Yeah, but that, Not a blue that jumpsuit. wrench is his, his outfit. So you're telling me that he he wears his gold armor underneath his uh, blue fucking tunic there? I guess. Sure, let's go with that. So. Oh, I, I, I see, I see. All right, so okay. before... Okay, sorry for my ignorance. Okay, uh, you're forgiven. Anyways, before that, we're going to switch back just temporarily so we can... Back to uh, Luke. Yep, um... We're gonna go see Specky again? Yeah. Oh, look, because now he's changed. fucking blue. So now we get to uh, Face him fight again. him again for for uh, oh. that. So Something, I'm guessing if we got here and we were too high level, he would pretty much change. He would have already been changed to this state. Uh, yes. Oh, he. Okay. Well. Holy shit. Yeah. So, <laughs> so the thing about yeah, pretty much. Uh. Yeah, you don't. <laughs> Anyways, the thing about... I think you underestimated Specchio, buddy. Yeah, the thing about uh, Specchio is that uh, only magic hurts him. Only magic, eh? Yeah. Oh, I guess he is the guy who taught you how to use magic, right? Yeah, I no idea. I need so it kind to... of makes sense. So you're going to bring back somebody. Yeah. But then they're just going to die again. bubble at him and it fucking pops and it deals half his health and damage. Yeah, he is like, like imagine if a fucking, Imagine if like a little kid came up to you and he blew a bubble at you and it just blew off your entire leg. That'd be one explosive bubble. God. Or you're the most frail person ever. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm not <laughs> I'm not getting through this. Um, or maybe, maybe not. I mean... You, you don't know what his health is at, right? Uh, not at the top of my head, but... Oh yeah, that's right, you know everything about this game. So not Luca, everything. Luca gets one shot, right? No? Yep. No. Yeah, Luca gets one shot, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, um, probably won't, uh, be So you guys were just him. fake dying? Oh no, that th it doesn't result in the game over. It's just tr training, pretty much. I see. Yeah. 
So anyways, we're going to uh, go to Medi Medina so Village. Is Specchio like infinitely repeatable? Or yeah, uh, is it like once you beat him? No, no, no. He's in, state, he's level de he's level dependent, but he's repeatable. Uh, while you have a level like. I feel sorry for these imps. Oh, They're, you're just like you th just these coming out of the travelers. Party, Freaking teleport into our closet every single day and run through our house. They have muddy shoes on every time. Are you sure? Muddy shoes. Anyways. We just came from fucking 65 million BC. No, we came from the end of time. Yeah, but you were 65 million BC right before that, right? Yeah, we could have wiped well, our you, shoes you before. You could have had fucking, fucking dinosaur dung on the bottom of your shoes. You, you could have brought a virus that was killed off eons ago. Back to present time, and you you could just fucking fuck up we don't all talk, existence. We don't talk about that in time travel. There's just there's so many flaws in this game because of its time travel. I think you're thinking way too much of this. Look, when it comes to time travel, you can't think enough about it. Okay. Anyway. That's why so many people avoid the discussion of time travel in any sort of medium. Well, it's not like more they like they avoid talking about it. It's more like uh, they're discussing it because they want to understand better, but not like because of because of how it is, how time travel is complicated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, because you know, if we can master time and space, then. Like, got everyone screwed. But I'm just saying, nobody knows enough about time travel that they should be able to, uh, uh, what's the word? Explain how it works in any sort of way, right? Yeah, because we, we have our own hypothesis like... and, and stuff of that, so, like, anyways. Like, like, I'm uh, just saying, yeah, everything that we it. know right now about time travel yeah. is only theory. We haven't actually traveled time. Game theory? <laughs> yes. Thanks for watching. Um, I, I'm just saying, we, we can't actually fucking say everything's a fact without actually putting it to the test. Time yeah, dilation that's, exists, that's, and, that's, and it is proven. And that's a problem with, with that, is we can't really... Well... While we can try, I don't think it'd be perfected. Oh, never. Yeah, so. Huh. So we got the Masamune. Yep. And now we're going to return it to uh, Glenn. So. Wait. Yeah. What uh, year is it now? This is. We're going back to 680. Wait, but this was 1000. Yeah. AD, right? Yes. No, BC. What? We're going to 680. After death. After chrono death. No. Well then who died? No one. I've been asking this question since the fucking beginning of this series. Who cares? I've, I've asked so many people. I've actually gone on to other people's YouTube channels and left comments saying, Who died? And they're like, I don't know, chrono? <laughs> Um, game developers, if you're out there, please, please, I need to know. Anybody watching who knows, please let me know. Okay, give me a source, give me proof that you know that who died at zero, the year zero, for it to be AD or BC in the year. Well... I guess you'll uh, find out if there's any people in the comments that will do that, but for me, I I don't know. Yeah, you don't know. The random people I ask on YouTube don't know. It's just, it's just that's just I the way it goes. I think it's just, just because of how, um, well, I mean, just for the sake of putting a circa into, into the timeline, so like, the era. So can't just say it's 600 because it's like 601. Yeah, but they could say it's the year 600 and then before zero it could be the year 65 negative 65 million, right? But million 
to hear negative 65 million. I don't think it would make sense without putting the the the, the BC or whatever because that would be different from what we do it. Well, I'm just saying you could use positive and negatives to show it, right? Yes, but because I think they just went with it because the BC and 80 because it was much easier to uh, for us to just digest what what it is. Yeah, but there are other. Uh, but then there are people who keep asking. Who died? At who died? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, but there were other. Um, there were other uh, fucking acronyms to show the AD and BC, mm -hmm. other than AD and BC, for people who didn't believe in Christianity, right? Like, I'm pretty sure there's like. There's BCE and. I forget what the other one is. But still, I'm pretty sure they just kind of incorporated it regardless. So. Really, it's not something to worry too much about. Um, again, just, you, just don't worry about it. I'm just worried that there's like some belief system in this game. Uh, that, you know... This could... is made by a Japanese company that does a lot... Of, that doesn't care too much about like the intricacies oh, of... I, I guess that's right, and... since you know they're using time travel to explain shit. <laughs> so yeah, just just one Nirvana strike and like he just goes away. So, so what's up with that frog? Uh, well, th that guy had the the hero's medal. Oh, I see. So, so now they're up grabbing the Mazmune, and uh, there's Ozzy with uh, this this guy over here. Um, so. Wait, is Glenn gonna like defeat Ozzy with the Mesa Uh, no, I don't think so. Watch, watch for this. Okay. Okay. So, Magus just cripples Dactyl. cripples Glenn with, with a well- well aimed backhand. Bitch slap. And uh just Holy God. Ends up with a delayed what? burst of flame. I, I I can't tell if that's like a comedic delay or if that's just like how magic works in this world. Uh, just, just always think delayed. of it like Borland's delayed explosion. It's great. So, you know so uh yeah, so actually, this is um, funny enough. This is the a flashback. So oh, so Glenn wasn't never. always a frog dude. No, I see. Did they turn him into a frog dude? Yeah, it just and then he fell off a cliff. Yeah. Oh, and they thought he died, but no, he just turned into a frog. No, dude. Magus didn't care. He just turned him into a different form and just you know do that. So yeah, this is uh, that was ten years ago. Yep. Uh, He's been a frog for ten years. Yep, and searching for this ultimate blade to defeat. No, actually, he's been pretty much in in wallow despair. Oh, he's just somehow. been fucking walking around in the forest, being all frog-like. Yeah, I mean, he doesn't want to. He didn't want. He didn't have the courage to face Magus, uh, and of course the Mazamune. Hmm. Uh, destroyed stuff. So uh, now he now he may have a chance. Do you think so, over the ten years he made that table set, that very well made table set? Nah, he probably just stole, stole it. Stole it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or it just earned it from uh, from someone, you know, with the chivalry and stuff, and, oh, and brought it all the way over here using his bear, his frog hands, and strength of will. Anyway, so I'm bringing Robo, uh, okay. mostly because no. of stuff. It's because of stuff, eh? Yeah. Now, before we go any further, this is a good point to leave off for this episode. Okay. So, so until next time, dudes. Uh, see you later. Bye for now. <laughs>